Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Where I 3D print, build, and fly radio controlled gliders and powered gliders from Soarcraft. In this video, I'm going to print a folding propeller, test it, and see how it flies. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And check out our website for this model and others, as well as printing configurations for different materials. I like using folding propellers, but they have been a bit of a problem. The cheap plastic ones don't handle higher RPM, are rarely in stock for long, and also getting kind of uncheap. Many months ago, I found this Hobby King prop for my lightweight power pod build. It was the perfect size and price. But by the time I got my design out, they were out of stock everywhere. It is still a good size, and I do like it. Well, thanks to Frank in Oregon who suggested this. It's a 3D printable folding propeller that's on Thingiverse. It's pretty well done with many different blade sizes and has a nice video with destructive testing, which is always fun and shows how good the design is. Link in the description below. I chose the blade sizes I wanted and printed one using some PLA Plus. But the hub doesn't really fit the Soarcraft power pod. And it was pretty obvious what I needed to do. Using the original hub step file in CAD, I upsized the pivot width to fit what I wanted, added some vent openings, and a turbo style nose cone, all to fit the Soarcraft power pod. Sized everything for readily available hardware. Sliced and printed. Made sure the blades were close in weight. The lock nuts are good for captive pivots that are loose enough for the blades to fold. And two screws for the nose cone. The hub is sized to fit the surpass motor I spec'd in the lightweight power pod and be similar to the Hobby King prop. But how does it perform? So on my janky test stand, I have my surpass motor mounted. And I'm going to be measuring RPM, force, and current. And calibrated dingleberry. Two hundred grams max thrust. How does the printed version compare? Really darn close. I tried some other blade sizes. That's pretty good too, and might be worth a try. But I'm going to stick with the 7.6 for now, and keep my RPMs at a reasonable level. But I think it's ready for a test flight, after I recheck the CG, just to be sure. So I'm at my local park and I did my FR Sky pre flight check. This is the lightweight Ruffton with the lightweight power pod. Everything looks good. That was awesome. Got pretty high quick. Uh. 
nice. This fly is really nice. Wow, that easily had more left. Printed folding prop works pretty good. And I can print another for my Igneous or any of my other models. Files and links on the website under accessories and in the description below. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next video.